Good morning, Greg. The official CBO estimate is finally out. The cost of the president's health care compromise would cost $940 billion over 10 years, but also reduce the federal deficit. And now that those figures are in, the big House vote is on track to happen in a few days. And that voting process has become as controversial as the bill itself because it involves a process called deem and pass, which avoids a direct vote on the controversial Senate version. Except the president pretty much blew their cover last night in his Fox interview. Whatever they end up voting on, it is going to be a vote for or against my health care proposal. So there it is. No matter what it's called, deem and pass, clean and jerk, Laverne and Shirley, it's a vote on health care. But they... The process. It's such an ugly process. Even the president says so. It was ugly when Republicans were in charge. It was ugly when Democrats were in charge. Yes. But I'm curious, which process would we prefer instead? There's all this whining about the process, even from the president. Even we're finally fed up with the Constitution, <coughs> which deliberately sets up this process. It deliberately sets up three independent branches of government. One of them with two independent houses as a, quote, check and balance, which is just a polite way of saying they were set up to fight with each other. Try to get 535 Americans to agree on anything. Then try with 535 people with oversized egos and lobbyists always sucking up to them. Yes, it's an ugly process. Yes, you have to make deals. Yes, we've been arguing about health care for 60 years. But what would you prefer? A military junta? A royal decree? I know. A papal order. Try debating one of those. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3, Cairo FM.